Hello everybody, so in this video we're going to be showing you guys how to take a Roblox UGC item and actually upload it to the Roblox website to sell it for Robux, make it a limited item, do whatever you want to do with it and potentially even get yourself verified on the Roblox platform. This video we're just going to be showing you guys a step-by-step -step guide how to get it from Blender into Roblox Studio, set it up in Roblox Studio and actually upload it to the Roblox website. And if you guys don't know why I'm showing this and doing this video, basically next month Roblox UGC is going public. If you guys have premium and you verify your ID on Roblox, you're actually going to be able to upload your own UGC items to the website and potentially get yourself verified and make some Robux. So I wanted to do this video to show people how to get it done because I've had a ton of people questioning me about how I actually set up and upload my UGC items. Now this video we're not going to be showing you guys how to make a UGC item. If you guys need help making a UGC item I can make some tutorials in the future. You just got to like this video and I'll probably end up doing more in the future but I'll leave some videos down below from Shark Blocks who goes over it and there's a ton of videos on YouTube as well that are really really good but if you guys want me to do one I can can do one in the future. I can show you guys how to make a shoulder buddy like this and stuff like that. Now, the first thing that we actually need to do is we need to export our UGC item outside of Blender in an object format so we can actually upload it into Roblox Studio. And how we're actually going to do that is we're going to click on our object and we're going to go to file and we're going to go to export and then we're going to go down to wavefront.object file and we're going to click on this. Now, it's going to come with a bunch of your folders and stuff like that. What we want to do is we want to go to limited to selected items only. So we have selected our UGC item right here here and we are going to be exporting it as a selected item only then what we want to do is go through our folders and where we end up wanting to save it i have a folder set up for this video and we're just going to save the ugc item into here as an object file and we're just going to click export down here and it's going to export out of blender and go into that folder that's now on my desktop Okay, after saving our and exporting our item outside of Blender, we need to open up a Roblox Studio. And all that I've done here is I've imported a dummy model and I've set the position to 0-3-0. Now there's tons of plugins that are called character inserters that you can do all over Roblox Studio. It's not that hard to get a default character in to import it in. And we're also going to need to install two different plugins that are going to actually help us set up our UGC item. The first one is called UGC Asset Creator. And the next one is called UGC Thumbnail Tool. And I'm going to leave both of these links to both of these plugins. They are both free and you can download them down below in the pinned comment. And these are going to help us set up our UGC item. It's very, very easy. We don't need to go through any trouble. The plugin basically does everything for us. Now, after we have done this, we are going to go over to the little chat box inside of the Explorer and Studio. And we're going to go to Workspace and click the plus icon. And then we're going to type in Mesh Part. And after doing that, we're going to install a Mesh Part inside of our little studio thing. We're just going to drag and drop it down to the side of our character right here. Now, what we want to do is we want to go over into the little tab over onto the side. And we want to find Mesh ID. And there is going to be a little folder next to it, basically allowing us to import our item inside of roblox studio so we're going to click on the folder we're going to go to wherever we saved our ugc item and we're going to basically open it up and it's going to basically show what we renamed it as so i named it as monkey rainster plushie and stuff like that so i'm going to open it up i'm going to import it inside of it now you want to click on the object file and just click open now it's going to ask you if your mesh like your mesh contains location data you're just going to click no on this and it's going to import your roblox ugc item and as you can see right here mine has come in now the reason why mine currently has a texture id on it is because this is already a roblox ugc item it's already selling on the roblox website so i don't need to do much about it but what i do need to do is actually turn it around which is quite easy all i need to do is go over here and just rotate it to the way i want it to be now if you guys don't have a texture on your ugc item and it's just gray and looks weird you need to come down here to the texture id and you need to upload the texture for your ugc item now how you actually do this is you go over to the creator dashboard on the roblox website so here we are on the creator dashboard on the Roblox website. And what we want to do is go over to development items and decals. And after doing this, we're just going to upload the texture for our UGC item. You can see right here, there's a bunch of textures that I've been messing with. And I basically just edit them and change stuff. But you just upload your texture file for your UGC item right here. And then what you want to do is when you have your UGC item, you can just click on this and you can copy asset ID. And then what you want to do is when you go back into Roblox Studio, you can paste the asset ID in the texture ID section and it will apply your texture to your little UGC item that you have created. As you guys can see right here, my UGC item has its texture and it is working fully fine. Now, we actually want to do with our UGC item is I like to move it onto the 
character where I want it to be. I'm going to position it on the dummy inside of Roblox Studio exactly where I want it to be on the Roblox avatar when it is uploaded. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty good right here. It is working. It's in position. I want it to be. I'm going to move it down a tiny little bit so he's touching the shoulder. And there we guys can see we're going to move it just so it's in the center of the arm right there. And as you guys can see, it is centered on our dummy just like it was in Blender. And we've moved it around to the position that we wanted in. Now, all we literally need to do is go over to the plugins tab and go to asset creator. Once we click on asset creator, we can type accessory. We're going to click on this little option right here and click next. And then it's going to ask us to select what the accessory is. So we're going to click on our little UGC item right here called mesh part. And we're just going to click next on this. Then it's going to ask us to select the character that we want this item to be attached to. And we're just going to select the dummy that we have imported inside of our studio and we're going to click next now it's going to ask us what ugc item this is now this is a shoulder buddy so we could put it on the right or left shoulder now this right now is on the left shoulder so we would go and put it on the left shoulder but if it's a ugc item that's a shoulder buddy a tip that i have is i always attach them to the collar instead of the shoulder because if you attach a ugc item shoulder buddy to the collar basically when the arm moves in game the ugc item is going to move with it but if you attach it to the left collar it's going to be attached up here even though it's over the arm and when the arm moves when you're running around inside of the game the ugc item is not going to move it's going to stay in place so i always attach it to the left collar but basically wherever your ugc item is you're just going to select the body part where it is then you're going to click next and you're going to type the intended classic like character type that you want it to be this is a character classic character right here and this is what i'm going to be using my ugc i'm on on my own avatar so i'm just going to select classic and click next then it's going to say that all fields are complete and we're just going to click next again and when we look above our avatar and our dummy inside a studio we can see that there is now a little monkey flying up in the air above our items and that means our ugc item has been created we can close out of this we can drag our little monkey buddy right here and we can drag him to the side because we don't need him anymore and as we can see right here in the little mesh thing right here we can see that there's a little wizard hat and it basically says mesh part and we're just going to click on this and rename it to monkey plushy and when we do that this is going to be our monkey ugc item now we can tell if this is a working ugc item because we could just drag this little monkey plushy and drag it onto the dummy and as you guys can see it automatically attached to the shoulder where we want it to be now i'm going to back out of that and we can delete both of these things right now we don't need the character we don't need the dummy all we need is our actual ugc item that we have made now so now that we have our actual ugc item inside of roblox studio we're going to be using the next plugin that is called the ugc thumbnail tool now this is going to make the thumbnail for the ugc item when it's on the roblox marketplace when you see items and stuff like that this basically is what it, it basically is so we're going to click on that we're just going to move around with our mouse to where we want it to be you can actually press shift uh, shift and use the WASD keys to move it around but you want to put it to a good position where it shows the item and what it actually is so prospective buyers that are looking for it on the marketplace can see what it actually looks like before they end up buying it I'm just going to zoom in a tiny bit here and there we go this is what we're going to do and we're going to click accept now when we look inside of our wizard hat UGC I'm right here we've got the handle and we have the thumbnail configuration that basically is set up this is a working UGC item now and how we actually upload this to Roblox is we're going to right click on the item right here and we're just going to click save to roblox it's going to end up coming up with this image and it's going to ask us if this is a development item or an avatar item obviously the cugc item we're going to click avatar item and then it's going to ask us what type of item it actually is this is a shoulder accessory so we're going to be clicking that and then it's going to do a validation if you don't have ugc permissions at the moment this won't validate or if your item is too big and has any errors on it or anything like that this will give you an error we can actually demonstrate that right now if i discard and i go over here and i click scale and i end up moving this around this should end up giving us an error because i've messed with the scaling and stuff like that inside of here so we're just going to go down to shoulder accessory as you can see right there there is an error and it said one error found we have messed messed up the size basically that's why you want to get your your proportions right inside of inside of blender before you import the ugc item but if we wanted to upload this right now we'd go down to save to roblox upload it as an avatar item as a shoulder accessory it's validation successful because i've got a ugc item i'm ugc certified i can upload ugc items basically uh now i can select down here the creator me i can upload it to my roblox profile or i can upload it to my roblox group if i wanted to sell it or i worked part of a ugc group but i'm just going to upload it to my profile you can add the profile the the tags for the item down here um, and basically you need to add some type of description i'm just going to put it as monkey plushy and then we can see down here it says submit for 750 robux now every single time that you upload a ugc item 
you're going to have to pay 750 Robux. Now, I can see right here that my thumbnail is kind of buggy and broken right here. So we're actually just going to discard this quickly and end up fixing it. We're just going to go down to the, the thumbnail options. Oh, we've, we don't actually have a thumbnail option. So we need to quickly fix that. We're just going to go down here and rescale it. I guess I accidentally deleted it. But this is what you need to make sure you do before you submit that upload. Because if there's any problem with your Robux UGC item, when you're uploading it to Roblox and you're actually saving it, if moderation doesn't like it, and as you can see right there, the thumbnail is actually fixed now. But if you upload a UGC item to Roblox and it gets moderated, you don't get this 750 Robux back. It's gone. You're going to have to pay 750 Robux every single time you upload a UGC item. And if it gets moderated, you basically have to resubmit it. And if you need to make changes or fix a certain thing, if it broke or anything like that, or it just looks weird, you're going to have to pay the 750 Robux fee over again. But if I wanted to upload this right now, I could actually just pay 750 Robux and it would straight up upload it to Roblox. And I'm actually going to demonstrate that in this video. I'm just going to click upload and it says, are you sure you want to submit monkey plushie for your account will be charged 750 Robux? I'm not going to pay and submit because this is the UGC item that I already have on the Roblox website and I don't want to just spam the same item and re-upload it over.